Creating and sharing videos has gotten relatively easy. And it can be even easier if you remember a few key fundamental ideas I'm going to share with you. Whether you're using your iPhone or your webcam on your laptop or desktop or a digital SLR, you want to remember when you're creating a video, you have to actually get that video from the creation device, whether it's your iPhone or your laptop, into the learning management system that you might be working with or onto a website or uh, some digital type of a platform. Um, and sometimes you're going to find that you can't simply upload your video directly from your iPhone into a learning management system like Moodle or Blackboard or Desire to Learn or any of those tools out there. So what do you do? You need to remember that there are different steps in the process and you're not necessarily running into a problem overall. It's what step of the process are you at or where are you at in the process? So I just want to give you an overview to help you understand how this works. So video capture, whether it's on the iPhone or laptop happens. Once you've got that video, you want to move it up to um, the internet. Now, if you're doing it on Facebook, it's really quite easy because you use the Facebook app and you create the video and you simply publish it and it's there, right? Similarly with Instagram. So there's a lot of tools, TikTok, there's a lot of tools, there's a lot of apps that make it really, really simple. But quite often, if you're working in some form of a learning uh, environment, you are going to have to look at alternate ways of doing that. So, and, and many people will find you just can't simply upload the video directly into Moodle or Blackboard or uh, a typical learning canvas or another learning management system. Why? Why is that? Well, the issue that happens um, is that programs like Moodle, Blackboard, Canvas, learning management systems are really designed to share digital content like documents, maybe some smaller images, but with video content, the video content is so large, is so massive, um, especially if you're looking at minutes worth, like or many, many minutes worth of video content, that these tools really weren't built and designed to be able to share that. And so before you can post that image um, or that video into a discussion post or onto the learning management uh, site, you might have to upload it to another intermediary site or location or a media gallery like Kaltura or YouTube. Okay. Now, the reason that I, I give you a couple of terms, there's, there's a variety of different tools available. Kaltura is a widely used media management tool that a lot of academic institutions use all the way up from K to 12 to higher ed. There's a variety of organizations that are using this tool. Um, and it is a, it's a media storage tool that works alongside of the learning management system. Now, a lot of institutions who aren't worried about privacy and other issues will allow people to simply upload media into YouTube. And then from YouTube, you simply uh, post a link of the YouTube video into the discussion forum or into the website. So there's a variety of ways that you can move this into the process. But for a lot of people, this is going to be the reality. You're going to create the video. You can't just upload it into Moodle, Blackboard, Canvas, whatever. You, you can't. You're going to either have to upload it into Kaltura, the media management system called Kaltura, or there's other ones. There's UG. UG. There's a variety of different uh, tools out there. There's probably a half a dozen very common tools. Kaltura is probably one of the most common tools you run across. If you're able to upload information directly into YouTube, well, again, YouTube then becomes your media management system, and you can then create the link from YouTube to your discussion forum or the website or the learning management system, wherever else you want to post that particular uh, video. So keep that in mind. So do you have to use Kaltura or a meeting management system? Do you have to use YouTube? Probably. Most learning management systems aren't going to allow you to upload your media, your video directly into uh, the site. For example, if you are uh, uploading media directly into your own WordPress site that is self-hosted, you're going to find that the, the organization you're hosting with is going to warn you that there are file limits. And quite often, you're going to run into those file sites. So you might have to upload that into YouTube and then post a link or a better link in your, uh, your blog post. Um, and then that video is then streamed. So this is the reality that you're going to have to face. Do you have to use Kaltura? No, you don't. Or 
one of the other tools, but you are going to have to use something like Kaltura or YouTube or Vimeo or other media sharing sites so that you can then embed the video directly into the learning management system or a blog site so that the people in your discussion forum or on your learning management system can actually see that video. So if you understand this process, you're taking a video off of one of your devices. You've got to get it into the cloud, into the internet. But before you get it into your learning management system, you might have to put it into Kaltura or YouTube or a similar site, Vimeo. There's, I, I'm using these generically as probably two of the more common sites. Once you've got that video into one of these media repositories, well, you can then embed that video into Moodle, Blackboard, Canvas, Desire to Learn, whatever the learning management system you're using, or your 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 blog site um, as an embedded link, and then it can be shared in your discussion forum, in your blog post, or in the um, uh, LMS uh, page. So hopefully, I've given you an idea as to how this works. So remember, when you run into trouble doing this, what stage are you at? Are are you running into difficulty creating the video on your on your device? Or are you having difficulty getting the video into your learning management system? Are you getting the error message, not enough space? Well, if that's the case, then you're going to have to actually use Kaltura or YouTube or another tool to be able to upload that video into that tool. And then you can you can share it within Moodle, Blackboard, or your, your blog site uh, by embedding it in the link in um, uh, and sharing it through that discussion forum or that page. So hopefully I've given you a context as to how you can troubleshoot where you are in the process and resolve those issues. I've created a few other videos that will talk about how do you actually embed a Kaltura video out of your My Media and get it into a discussion post so you can take a look at those uh, videos as well. So hopefully this will help you um, sort out the challenges that you might be facing getting your uh, videos into um, your um, digital environment.